Katrina, I want to play a portion of a video from a Sanders rally this week and get your reaction. Bernie asked the crowd in Iowa if anyone had experience living on $12,000 a year on Social Security. I've been living on probably less than that for a long time because of disabilities. And it's so hard to do anything to pay, pay your bills. You're ashamed all the time. It is not easy for people to stand up and say that. But the truth is that until millions of people who are experiencing exactly what you guys are experiencing do say that, we don't make change. So I thank you for saying and for telling us what's going on in your lives because the truth is you can't make it on 12,000, you can't live in dignity on 10,000 or less. And millions of people today are in that position. Katrina, you wrote that many pundits are saying the choice between Hillary and Bernie is one between the head and the heart. That's a pretty good description of this race. Can the heart win? Listen, Larry, what you just played is so important. We don't see that on mainstream television, the pain that millions of people are feeling around this country. I think in Bernie Sanders, you saw the great empathy. He has traveled uh, around this country, but in, in his own state in Vermont for years, speaking to poor people, to working class people, listening to their stories, telling them that they, he supports the need for jobs, for lives with dignity. So I, I think we've, this is a moment, Larry, we've overused the term, but this is an anti-establishment moment. This is a moment when what we've witnessed over these last years is that the serial devastations wrought to this country have been brought about by the responsible establishment candidates. I think it's time to listen to those who propose an alternative to what has been the status quo. And in Bernie Sanders, you do have a candidate who has a strategy for change, and I would argue whose policies are in sync with the majority of the American people and are common sense. So vote for the heart. I'd say vote for the realist. He looks out at the world and understands, you know, after the wilding of Wall Street unleashed by deregulation, it's time to tame these banks, wrest power back from the big pharmaceuticals, try building on Obamacare for universal health care, and engage the world in a less hawkish way. I think that's realism in our time. 